this is Lord Zakiya's Gaming and it's been a hot minute since I've done a unboxing video for you guys but today I have one for you guys I finally got the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Eastman and Laird's uh, Battle Demonstrator and here's the, the box here's the size of the box right here on Shredder this is Eastman and Laird's uh, was it their Mirage comic and then back of the box sorry about the glare here's uh, the promo of the pictures and then here we are uh, here, here we have the foot soldier, Casey Jones, and there's two uh, clone uh, shredders. There's like four or five of them, I believe. And there's a shredder. So let's unbox this bad boy. Uh, luckily, I got I found him at Target, but this was the last one. Hopefully, we stocked the other turtles. I'm still missing the the four pack turtles, which I really want. And that was made by a different artist. This was made by Eastman and Nairs. And it's cool because there's a backdrop of the, the building where you find the movie and the comic pretty much. The first movie is pretty much based on this this version of Turtle. And NECA did a dope ass job on the paint job on this guy, the Shady. Alright, let's uh, get him out of the package, take a closer look, and uh, check his articulation and details. Here's Battle Damage Shredder out of the package. So let's uh, take a closer look at his details, articulation, and then close from there. Let's look at the NECA TMNT Battle Demonstrator. This is based on the Mirage comics. As you can see, this guy looks amazing, man. NECA just really killed it on this figure, like the paint job, the shading. It looks straight up like out of the comic. Close view of his head, head sculpt. Look at that paint job and the shading, guys. They really killed the, this line right here. I'm still waiting on the to get the four pack turtles, but that was based on a another artist. It's not based on the Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. And you can see, and this is nice right here. Look at that. The shading, the detail. I can't wait to get the other ones. I still gotta get Casey Jones. Uh, what's the name? Splinter. The Foot Soldiers. Looks really nice though, man. Look at that. It looks straight up like out of the comic. So let's take a look at his articulation really quick. So I had this, it's on the bar joint. So back forth, really smooth. That high, that how, uh, that's how high it could go. And then it's pretty nice, yeah. Like I said before, it's on the bar joint. It moves really smoothly. And how far it could go. Not too far, because the uh, shoulder probably going to hinder his articulation. This one's kind of be... Nah, this one doesn't really go far. The, the the left arm doesn't really go that high. I don't know if it's because the shoulder pads. I feel like the right hand, yeah, it goes a little higher for some reason. But I think it is a double elbow joint. Or double, yeah. Cause it, but since uh, it has the... The front part is gonna hinder his uh, articulation. You can see, and then rotation at the, the hand. And this is a swivel. But I don't. I can't really get to. Uh, I'm able to like bend it because maybe the paint. The paint hind. Uh, what's it called like hinders the articulation because, as you can see, there's a little hand sculpt right there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but. I can't bend it. I don't want to really mess it up because the paint's gonna chip either way. It'll swivel a little. That's how much it can swivel. And then there's a rotation at the waist. There's no uh, ab crunch at all, so you see how much you can bend. But you can't even bend because there's no ab crunch. And then there's double uh, knee, as you can see. Double knee bend, look nice. My only issue with some of these neck figures are like the, the legs, like this part. You could rotate it. And then there's a, what's it called? A tip, uh, toe articulation. As you can see, there's a bend. And then bend up that knee again. You just want to be careful with the toe articulation because over time, he's going to get loose. And he can't go 90 degrees, really. Like a Van Damme spit. There you go. That's all the articulation, guys. 
it doesn't say on the box how much but i'm pretty sure it's going to be like part like 30 points 25 maybe so that's it for the articulation guys and the detail man look at it this guy looks freaking amazing guys i highly recommend getting this especially if you read the comics i have a few of the uh the original comics like the not the original but you know from mirage it's like this guy looks amazing and then uh let's take a look at his art uh not articulation he already did that uh his accessories he doesn't come with much like with weapons but he does come with a lot of hands for some reason i'm just gonna like skip through this really quick because you know hands are not really too special but that's the little paint job and all his hands are usually uh fists like closed fist or open hand so because he does come with one weapon and there's a nade like a nade I'm gonna go quick with these little hands because you know hands not really too special you know pretty simple your basic hands and it does come with the battle damage uh is this called the gauntlet yeah you can see all the little details they put into this i'll show you guys how it looks in the photos in a minute and then his last or his last accessory not as uh, his uh, his weapon pretty much is a grenade trying to kill the turtle at the end it's crazy because Shredder does die really quick in the first issues of the Turtles, the Mirage ones. As you can see, Battle Damage Shredder head. It's quite nice. The hair looks crazy. Like if you touch it, you you could like feel all the little details and put into this this hair, man. Like the skull. You know, damage and bloody. You know, part of the debris. But it's got like nice, man. So let's try on his head. And uh, I'll show you uh, some photos yeah, in there, guys. Switch his head. Pretty simple, guys. Uh, usually in Echo figures, the heads, like, they're freaking hard to uh, get out and put on. There you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. He looks freaking nice, bro. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, Rukusaki. The turtles are mine. Yes. Damn, this is badass, guys. I don't wish he came with the uh, more weapons. Besides more hands, you know, I need more weapons like the katana. I love the katana, the little, uh, I forgot what it's called. But he comes with the little, uh, in the movie, he has a little blade. So at least a knife or a katana or something. But that's it, guys. Highly recommend this figure. Especially if you love turtles like I do. Highly recommend Battle Damage Shredder. I still gotta get the regular Shredder too, as well. So I'll take some photos. And then if you enjoyed this video and content, and if you love turtles, please make sure to leave that comment and subscribe.